Welcome to the Principia podcast. My name is Mark Bulls and I'll be your host. In this edition, an introduction to the podcast, the Omneity Knowledge Management Project and introducing the Development Support Framework or DSF. The Principia podcast is a collection of articles about system lifecycle management, itself a collection of disciplines including configuration management, change management, build management, build engineering, release management and deployment. One of the projects I'm currently working on is Omneity, an experimental system for knowledge management of configuration and change management. Omneity's unique features include a fully distributed peer-to-peer architecture, a set of plugins called adapters will translate data sources such as source code repositories and package content into a common semantic model. I won't be covering Omneity in this particular podcast, but I'll discuss it more in future podcasts. If you're interested, visit the Omneity wiki at omneity.itslm.com or for less formal notes and general thoughts you could try itslm-omneity.tumblr.com One of the major threads throughout these podcasts will be the development of the Development Support Framework or DSF for short. The DSF will develop into a complete IT management system based around license-free and, where practicable, open source products. The purpose of the DSF is not so much to create the system, but as a vehicle to discuss the development of an IT management system. The DSF will be based on freely available tools. For the simple reason that I've got limited resources and, for the sake of discussion, freely available tools are perfect for practical exercises. Not only that, but being free means you can follow along if you wish. And of course, at the end of the process, we'll have a complete system. More important than the system we will develop, you'll have enough knowledge to modify the system to your needs. Select parts of the system you find useful develop your own solutions and integrate them into your organisation. Along the way, we'll have the opportunity to investigate and discuss many of the issues facing IT lifecycle professionals. A quick tour of the high level of requirements is in order, so here we go. The DSF will be both modular in that components will be, so far as possible, interchangeable. We'll have plenty of opportunity to discuss how components may be replaced and what this replacement would involve. It will be scalable from anything as small as a one-man team up to teams of hundreds of developers. It'll be similarly scalable for organisations both small or large. It is important that the DSF support different methodologies, everything from the classic waterfall through to the most recent agile approaches and beyond. In other words, we need to make sure that whatever we design we can accommodate future changes. Equally importantly, the DSF must support both localised and distributed teams. It should make little difference whether your whole team sits in one office or each sits in their own office spread all over the world. In reality, of course, it does make a difference. Small matter of time zones tend to cause complications, but we shall see what strategies can be used to ameliorate the effects of team co-location. The DSF must be able to deal with information about all aspects of the IT system and its management. So, everything about hardware, software, infrastructure, as well as information about the people and processes and procedures used to manage them. It's going to take a while to develop the DSF, but along the way there will be plenty to discuss. Some of you may already know that there are several other sources of information about the DSF project. For those who don't, Here are a few pointers. Firstly, there are my blog posts at blog.principia-it.co.uk. For those who want to focus on the DSF specifically, select the Development Support Framework category. Then there is the Project Wiki. 
At the moment, this is hosted on the ITSLM wiki at wiki.itslm.com slash wiki slash open underscore source underscore slm. Here you'll find all the current information about the DSF as it's being developed. Being a wiki, others may contribute too, so just be aware that the information on the wiki might not match these podcasts perfectly. I'm also blogging about the DSF development process on Tumblr at itslm-dsf.tumblr.com. This is an informal collection of development thoughts and notes, so not necessarily final commentary on the DSF, but rather a collection of random information around the development process. And, as the occasion demands, I'll be putting videos up on youtube.com slash principiait. If you have a question about the DSF or its development, then please feel free to raise them in the comments on the main blog at blog.principia-it.co.uk or in the Ask Anything section of the Tumblr blog. You can also email me at mark.bulls at itslm.com. I'm looking forward to the conversation.